The Top 10 Dogs for Cold Climates When you're looking to add a furry friend to your family, there are many things to consider to ensure they will be a good fit for your lifestyle. However, one often overlooked factor is the climate. Not all dog breeds are built to tolerate cold, harsh weather. If you live in a cold, mountainous area and relish taking winter walks in snow-covered fields, you'll want a dog who enjoys the same. So you should consider a dog that is bred to live and work in these environments. There are multiple breeds that have a higher tolerance for cold climates than others. And if your dog happens to be one of the breeds in this list, then the chances are they are amongst the best cold weather dogs out there. Just make sure you don't end up with a little lap dog that shivers at the sight of snowflakes, or else you'll have to invest in a little doggy parka and matching earmuffs. Our video today showcases 10 dogs who demonstrate the ability to thrive even in the coldest conditions. Dog number one, the Chow Chow. This is one of the most distinctive looking dogs on the planet, and they are also one of the oldest, having been originally bred in China as Pals Guard Dogs for royalty. They are perhaps best known for the unique black-blue tongues, a feature that has been the subject of many myths, such as that they inherited it from a bear or that they licked up all the blue sky that fell on Earth when the world was created. Not only is their tongue striking, but their thick coats give them a lion-like appearance and make them extremely tolerant of cold weather. While they may look humorous, their demeanor is quite different, as they are known to be stoic and aloof. However, they are also gifted with great focus and cleanliness, making them easy to train. Chow Chows may have a slightly scowling expression and be standoffish at times, but they are also incredibly loving and loyal to their family, and certainly won't mind a few winter walks. Dog number two, the Akita. The Akita Inu, also known as the Japanese Akita or Great Japanese Dog, was once the breed of choice for the Japanese imperial family. They were so highly esteemed that statues of the breed were given to new parents as a symbol of health, happiness, and longevity. These majestic dogs were traditionally used by winter hunters and samurai from northern Japan, making them exceptional in frigid conditions with their thick, short double coats and rougher outer coat to keep them warm in the coldest of weather. With heavy bones and a sturdy build, Akitas are known for their strength and power, which surpass most other breeds of similar size. Akitas can also be pretty stubborn and are quite territorial, so they make excellent guard dogs and will do their duty no matter how cold it gets when they're on patrol. Dog number three, the German Shepherd. This beloved breed is renowned for its remarkable aptitude as working dogs for services such as the police, search and rescue, and security. Not only are these dogs strong, agile, and hardworking, with bundles of energy and high intelligence, but they have a thick double coat that helps protect them from the cold better than most breeds, though not as well as some of the other breeds on this list. The double coat consists of a long, coarse outer layer that shields them from harsh environments and an inner layer that insulates them from both hot and cold weather. German Shepherds are often seen in movies living outside, sometimes even chained up as guard dogs, but this is not recommended for any breed. Even breeds that are well suited for cold weather should never be kept outside all the time, as there are still temperatures and conditions that could be too extreme for them. Furthermore, most dogs are social creatures and won't respond well to being isolated from their family. Even so, as winter approaches, a German Shepherd's coat will become thicker, providing them with insulation that allows them to play in the snow for longer than most dogs. Dog number four, the Bernese Mountain Dog. As their name implies, the Bernese Mountain Dog was bred for life in the mountains, where they have been used for centuries as draft and driving dogs in Switzerland. With their impressive strength and sturdiness, they are capable of carrying their own gear and even some of yours. Moreover, their remarkable resilience makes them ideal hiking companions, even in the harshest and coldest of conditions. Despite their size and strength, Bernese Mountain Dogs are known for being incredibly affectionate, gentle, and devoted to their owners. They are one of the most beautiful cold-weathered breeds, and their kind disposition makes them the perfect addition to any family, especially one that loves to give their pups lots of love and attention and go for hikes up in snowy mountain peaks. If you are interested in all sorts of dogs and want to learn more about other breeds, check out some of our playlists. It would make our day if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss new videos and can learn more about dogs. Dog number five, the Newfoundland. This large Canadian breed weighs up to 160 pounds and is easily recognizable due to its thick black fur and robust body, allowing it to withstand even the most extreme conditions. This breed has long been used for water rescues, even in icy cold waters, and is regularly employed for mountain recoveries. With its calm and patient in temperament, friendliness, and protectiveness, the Newfoundland makes an ideal companion and a beloved addition to any family, even those with young children. However, due to its large size and strength, the Newfoundland can easily knock over a full-grown adult with minimal effort. 
so it is essential to train them not to jump up at people. As with many of the larger dog breeds, the Newfoundland is a prodigious drooler. So if you're looking for a spotless home or don't want to be regularly drenched in slobber, this might not be the right breed for you. But if you live on the coast or near a freezing lake, they will be a perfect fit. Dog number six, the St. Bernard. This is a breed that looks like a big cuddly teddy bear and is one of the largest dogs in the world. For years, they were considered the top winter dog, renowned for their size, strength, durability, and intelligence. This made them the perfect choice for search and rescue missions in the Alps, where they could trek for miles through deep snow with ease. Even larger than the Newfoundland, they can weigh up to 200 pounds. And while they're not exactly lap dogs, these gentle giants are known as nanny dogs due to their affectionate and docile personalities, making them an ideal family pet. So if you and your family spend a lot of time on ski slopes, just know a St. Bernard can make a brilliant companion. Dog number seven, the Samoyed. From Siberia that dates back to the dawn of civilization, when they are bred and raised by the Samoyed people. This heritage has enabled them to develop a strong bond with humans, making them not only hardworking, but also excellent learners and incredibly compassionate companions. Their thick white coat, which helps them blend into the snow, combined with their compact and agile build, gives them a wolf-like appearance. As with most other breeds, Samoyeds require plenty of physical and mental exercise. They are a great winter dog breed for those who are fond of huskies, but want a more obedient companion. Just be sure to check with your neighbors before getting a Samoyed, as they are known to be quite vocal. This super smiley social breed loves to play with kids and is an ideal addition to any family living in colder areas of the world. Dog number eight, the Siberian Husky. When you think of a pack of dogs pulling a sleigh through the snow, this is the breed that likely comes to mind. They have been a favorite around the world since their origin in Siberia, bred specifically for sledding and helping humans traverse long distances in frigid temperatures. The Husky is closely related to its wolf ancestors. This is evident in its tendency to howl loudly and often. The Husky's double coat of fur helps keep it warm and insulated, while still allowing it to remain nimble, sleek, and agile. Its sledding heritage has also endowed it with a great strength, endurance, and energy. Despite its use as a working dog, the Husky is notoriously difficult to train due to its mischievous and stubborn nature. As such, it requires an experienced donor with plenty of patience and time to provide the proper training. What breed of dog do you think is the best for cold climates? Do let us know in the comments and share your thoughts with other enthusiasts. Dog number nine, the Tibetan Mastiff. This next breed is shrouded in mystery as their true history has been lost to time due to their long-standing isolation in the Himalayas. All we really know is that they originated in Tibet. Their immense double coat keeps them well insulated with an undercoat that changes in thickness depending on the season, allowing them to adapt to summer and winter climates. Tibetan Mastiffs are usually black or brown, but they can also come in much rarer red color. In fact, a red Tibetan Mastiff holds the current record for the most expensive dog ever sold, after it was purchased for an astonishing $1.9 million as a puppy. These large dogs can weigh up to 177 pounds and are said to be one of the oldest working breeds, with their strength and size making them perfectly suited for hard tasks in harsh weather. They can also make excellent guard dogs and have even been known to fend off large predators such as wolves and even snow leopards. But they're not all work and no play. Tibetan Mastiffs are incredibly loving and loyal to their family and make great adventure buddies. They may be more independent than some other breeds, but they are still devoted cold weather companions. Dog number 10, the Alaskan Malamute. No list of dogs suited to cold weather would be complete without the Alaskan Malamute. While they may look similar to the husky cousins, they are actually the largest and oldest of the Arctic dogs, boasting a much heavier coat that provides excellent protection against the harsh Alaskan weather. Bred primarily as sled dogs, they are stronger and sturdier than their relatives, capable of pulling up to a jaw-dropping 3,307 pounds. However, we strongly advise against using your Alaskan Malamute to pull heavy loads without proper training to avoid injury. Despite their strength, Alaskan Malamutes make great family pets, Though their intelligence and independence can make training a challenge, they require experienced, focused, and determined owners who can provide the necessary training. Moreover, unlike Huskies, they do not adapt well to warmer weather and will get heat stroke very quickly unless clipped tightly and regularly. They also have huge energy reserves that, if not properly expended, can lead to destructive behavior. Therefore, they are best suited to an active owner who lives in a cooler environment outside of a city with plenty of land for regular exercise. However, the Alaska Malamute's ability to withstand the harshest weather is unbeatable and largely due to their dense double fur coat, which is one of the thickest of all breeds. It consists of a rough outer layer and a thick oily undercoat that can be up to two inches thick. 
This means they can happily go to sleep under a layer of snow, and it won't even melt. So if you're looking for a dog that can brave the coldest of climates, the Alaskan Malamute is the dog for you.